Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use nested UI states when using the AngularJS UI router. Uh, a possible scenario where you would want to use nested states is if you're doing uh, some kind of templating where you want to, let's say for example, you have your main website and on your main website you have a settings area and in, e in your settings area you have uh, maybe a bunch of different views. Um, the nested states would be your settings and your your different views. So let's let's go ahead and start uh, by creating a new project. I've already created one on my desktop called test project. Well it's basically just a, an empty folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder called JS and that's going to be where we're going to keep all of our JavaScript. And I've already downloaded the Angular UI router um, file as well as Angular JS. Let's go ahead and drop that in your JavaScript. Um, using your favorite text editor, in this case I'm going to use Atom. Open it up and we're going to uh, open the project that we just created, the folder. And let's go ahead and create a new file. Let's call that one index.html we're also going to create a new folder we're going to call that templates and that's where we're going to keep all of our um, states so the first thing that we want to do is we want to open up index.html and start programming the foundation to this project Let's go ahead and get the head in there and the body all right, in the head, you want to go ahead and include the JavaScript files that we just downloaded. All right. With those added, let's go ahead and go to our JavaScript folder. We're going to create another JavaScript file. In this case, it's going to be called app.js. And this is where all of our uh, AngularJS code is going to go. So let's go ahead and start this off. We're going to call our app example. And we're going to include the UI router. Let's go ahead and create um, our config. All right, so the state provider and the URL router provider are both part of the UR router uh, library that we downloaded. So let's go ahead and create our states, and I'll go ahead and elaborate on what those are uh, after I type them out. Alright, so the first state that I created is settings. Settings in this scenario is going to be a layout. It's not going to be an actual page. So independently, it's, it's kind of a useless item. It's going to work together with different settings views, which I'm going to create right now for states.
All right. So I created two more states. Um, one is going to be called the profile and one is going to be called the account. So both of these profile and account states are going to be child um, templates to the settings layout. And each of them have their own uh, HTML file, which we're going to create in just a moment. Uh, and then let's go ahead and set a default if um, for when we first load our page. So when we first load our website, um, it's going to take us to the profile view. All right, with that done, let's go ahead and let's start by, um, let's work our way backwards. Let's, let's go ahead and create a template. We're gonna call this one profile.html inside your templates directory. And basically, um, I'm just gonna type in some text. This is a profile page. I'm gonna save that. I'm also going to create a file called account and I'm going to say this is an account page. Alright, so these are the lowest child elements on our uh, website for our, as far as our states are concerned. So let's go ahead and go up a level. We're going to create our settings.html page and this is the layout that I discussed with you. We're going to say uh, this is our settings. Uh, let's call this layout. And on that layout, we're gonna just do a page break, and we're gonna include two two links. And what these links are going to do is they're going to be responsible for navigating between the view uh, pages. So if we click the show profile, it's going to load the profile view in the settings layout. And if we click account, of course, it's going to load the account view of the settings layout. So we need to show, we need to be able to tell our website where to render these child views. So in, still inside of our settings layout file, we're going to add the following. So what happens here is um, this content right here will show always show above the child element. And in this case, the child element is going to be the profile or account. So with that created, let's go back into our index.html file. We're going to go up a level. And we're going to add um, just the, the main index.html file stuff. Let's go ahead and start by doing ng app equals uh, example. Uh, one thing that I also noticed is we didn't include our app.js script, so let's go ahead and include that. All right. With that done, let's go ahead and say this is the index level. And I'm going to do a line break here. And like we saw on the settings page, we're also going to add an area to display child elements. Oops. So what's going to happen here is when we load our page, it's going to load the index file. The index has a um, area to display children. Because we're going to be viewing uh, settings.profile, it's going to load the settings. So settings is going to appear in this spot right here. So it's going to display all of this. And then inside this area, the next child is going to be shown. In this case, it's going to be profile. So in theory, if everything worked out correctly, let's go ahead and see what happens uh, when we load this. Alright, perfect. 
So you can see our default page is settings profile. So when I click on show account, it uh, loads the account items. So as you can see, there was, there was different levels of nesting occurring in our states. So if we go back into our code, we're going to take a deeper look at app.js. So what happens here is uh, states are objects. So you can have an object uh, as many layers deep as you'd like. You can add uh, more stuff than this. Um, you can say current user or, or friend. It doesn't really matter. You can, you can go on and on and on and on. And, uh, and you can keep nesting pages as long as you include the um, UI view item. It'll it'll keep it'll keep nesting, and and this right here this doesn't have to be. This this right here is in the in the root of your www, and it doesn't have to be in templates. You can put it anywhere you want. If you wanted, you could do um, child views, uh, as long as there's a folder that exists called child child views inside your your templates directory. I just wanted to keep it really flat and and do everything inside of the templates folder. So just like that, you saw how to do nesting with the UI uh, router for AngularJS. And, and it's useful particularly for um, doing multiple layouts inside of your project. In case the programming language that you're using, uh, maybe you're just doing plain HTML rather than using, say, Node.js or some other language that offers templating. Um, it's, it's useful so that way you don't have to repeat code across all of your pages because if say I wanted to do this uh, in standard HTML I, I would have to type this whole thing across the, t the two pages that I that I made but because of the layouts I was I only had to add the text of each of the child views it, it's pretty convenient you can add styling you could it's it's full on HTML you can do whatever you want with it if you like this video and are interested in seeing what else I have to offer, please subscribe to my channel as well as my written web blog. Thank you.